So Carla joins us today from the Little Gym Company. Hello. Hi, yeah. So then, uh, Little Gym Company, whereabouts is it? So we are on the end of Park Street, down past H&M, and we're right on the corner. In Camberley, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So how did this uh, start for you? So I started as work experience. Um, I walked up and I was like, hi, little 15-year-old me, do you have anything? They were like, yeah, sure, sure. I was like, great. Didn't think I'd get it. Great. Carried on. They then were like, don't leave us, stay for summer. Went back for summer. Don't leave us, stay for Saturdays. So I quit my other Saturday job I had, worked there. Then they were like, here, do you want more? Do you want more? Do you want more? And then I started full time, worked my way up. And now I'm the gym director there, which is right below the owner. Wow. wow. So what is the little gym? So the little gym is an it's an American franchise. Um, it's been going on for over 45 years now. And it is a children's gymnastics company. All right, okay, with equipment, dancing around stuff? Or... Yeah, so it's all, there's no dance. They, they do do a dance programme, but we, we currently don't. Um, but it's all equipment-based. We've got anything you'd find in any other gymnastics facility. We've got, we've got bars, we've got beam, we've got climbing equipment, we've got a little rock wall, pretty much anything, rings, all of it. And what ages? We start from four months old. And we go up to 12 years old. Well, that's interesting to start with. What do you do with a four-month-old? That is the question I always get. What does a four-month-old do? They are a baby. Um, the goal of this programme in particular is to look at building the core. Um, of course, they're not moving yet. So it's very, very, very much parent and child focused. Um, and what we do is we look at muscle stretches. We look at strengthening the core. Again, tummy time. And again, of course, a lot of babies don't like tummy time. So we teach other ways to do it and then they do gymnastic skills they will teach a four month old how to forward roll they really? teach them it's impressive it's again it's very easy because the parents teaching it and it's all through muscle memory so the more that a child does it the more they'll understand they need to tuck their head in they need to look at their tummy they need to round their back and then by the time they're you know two two and a half they can do it themselves it's can amazing. you do that roger can yeah. you do a tummy no i can't no no, but you're way older than two. Uh, I'm way older. I would hope I was. Maybe we should go along and practice from the basic skills. You and me together, yeah. Mm. And Carla, I might teach be us. ill that day. I'll yeah. teach you. It's fine. I'll teach you everything. <laughs> <laughs> so that's interesting. So tummy time leading to forward rolls and then that go upwards from there. Yeah, exactly. And what do the older ones do? So the older ones, we've got, they all run in different age groups. So we've got our kind of under three-year-olds, which are all parent and child. We've got our preschoolers, which are three to six. And then we've got our six to 12-year-olds. Um, now, when they get to six to 12-year-olds, it's generally all about building gymnastics terminology, and skills so we start basics of forward rolls handstands cartwheels bridges we look at rotations on bars we've got things on the beam we've got parallel bars and again it's just all about building confidence and having fun we are very much non-competitive um i mean a lot of the staff come from a competitive background we've experienced you know all that all that environment which sometimes was great sometimes not so great but they just love it. Kids come in, they have the best time, they meet new friends, they then go out with friends, everything. So uh, you say it's non-competitive. Are there exams that they can take and levels to get to? Is it? Like no, that? no, so it's just recreational. So as they move up through the, um, the programme, sorry, once they get to six, um, there's kind of um, levels as such. So they'll start beginners, then they'll move up to the intermediate, then to advanced, and we'll tell them when they're ready for that as well. Otherwise, push them out of their comfort zone. It just, all it does is breaks confidence. It's great not to have the pressure, actually, just turn up and have a good time. And that it itself brings the confidence, doesn't it? Exactly. And it makes a child want to come back every week and every day if they could. Nice. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> it's great, isn't it? Instead of climbing over the sofa. I think so, yeah. Climb exactly. over their apparatus, which is great. So do the, what age do the parents leave the children? So from three, the children can come in by themselves. Um, parents can sit and watch. We've got floor to ceiling glass windows, so they can literally see everything. So the other side of the screen. Exactly. Drinking coffee. Yeah, we've got tea and coffee there. We make it literally an hour lesson. Parents sit down. They have table surface of tea and coffee. They don't have to listen to their children. It's very much soundproof as well. So when the kids are in there screaming and shouting, laughing, having, you know, being crazy three-year-olds, parents are like, great. This is not They're my problem. They're having such a lovely time. Look at them. Exactly. And Carla's getting that headache all the time. <laughs> exactly. It's great fun. <laughs> so as well as enjoying gym and all that involves, you really must like children. Love them. 
which I never, when I was younger, I was like, mm, yeah, children, they make a lot of noise. But then as I got to my job, I was like, oh, they are funny. They, you know, they walk in, they give you a hug, they remember your name. Parents as well, you just create these amazing bonds and parents are like, hey, how was your holiday? How was this? How was that? Bring your dog in. You know, all those fun things. And it's just... Bring your dog in. Yeah, we, everyone loves dogs there. So they're like, mm, show me a picture of your dog. Bring your dog in. Let me stroke your dog. It's great. Wow, okay. <laughs> so that's really interesting. 24-7? Or not 24-7, but every day of the week? So right? Tuesday to Sunday, generally. Mondays, we're closed. We are probably going to start opening soon at some point. Mm. Um, Sunday afternoon, we also do birthday parties. So, again, there's, you know, about 15-plus children in the gym having a party, food, cake, sugar, great fun. Um, and then if we're not doing classes, um, generally we'll run through the academic year. So half terms, we do camps, which will help parents with childcare. All around, isn't it? It is. Isn't everything it? I covered. I was going to say you've catered for everything. I really love the idea of the birthday parties or parties generally. Don't have do any you want parties. one, Beverly? Well, I was thinking that some other pits some people I know. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Yeah. So, is it a maximum or a small amount of people or? for the parties? Mm. Yeah. So, party we've got a package which has fifteen. The maximum is twenty-five. Okay. Twenty-five kids running around. Yeah, but they're the other side of the glass screen. Well, yeah, exactly. That's where I'd be the other side of the screen. <laughs> Parents do often say, I don't know how you've just done that with 25 kids. I'm like, smile and wave, smile and wave. Have a good time, put music on, let them play, let them burn energy and then eat more sugar and then you can take your hyper kids home. It, all joking aside, though, you obviously um, look after them and keep them safe on the little beams and the rings and all of that stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So everything that we do, whether it's a party, whether it's a class, whether it's camps, it's structured to keep them safe so whatever we do they don't just go around do their own thing have the best time we will teach them we will keep it structured we will keep them safe and we would do everything to avoid any sort of collision injury fall anything like that so how then, much apparatus have you got there then so we've got i mean i don't even know how big it is actually now that you've asked but it's a there's a full facility we've got a full-size asymmetric bars we've got a full-size beam as well we've got a big red mat in the middle where we do a lot of our group things together. Um, we've do you got, do the parachute thing? We do, yeah. We've got about four parachutes because children love them. Um, we've got um, an air track as well. Best way to describe it, it's a long, straight, bouncy castle. And it is so much fun. And again, kids love it at a party. They're like, is the air track coming out? Is it coming out? I'm like, uh-huh, yes. It will. So what do you get on one end and you just run up the end? Yeah, they run, they jump on it, they roll on it, they can, they can do flips on it, anything. And we'll teach them everything. Can they stay in there as long as they want or is it like... No, so it is all time. So classes wise, if they're under three, it's 45 minutes. Over three, it's an hour. Um, camps are slightly different. They will do half days or full days. And parties, it's an hour in the gym, half an hour for food. And who does the cooking? None of us. So if they're doing any food for a party, mm -hmm. parents would bring it themselves. Okay, so like sandwiches or picnic bags. Or... Exactly. And because we're in Cambly, we always say, don't forget, you can order it to us. So if you want to go pick up a pizza from Pizza Express, you are about 100 yards away. Yeah, that's perfect, isn't it? Makes sense. I know what one I'd go for then. <laughs> I wouldn't bring the picnic bags. I'd go, let's order it in. Yeah, exactly. So loads of things, loads of options there, isn't there? Yeah. So many. Fantastic. And you're loving it all? Always. Always love it. I always go into work, I'm like, oh, what's today going to bring? Because children, you know, they they are not the same every day. They could be completely different a week apart. We've got um, children who were with us when they were two, and now they've come back and they're like seven. And I look at them, I'm like, oh, my goodness, what's happened? Where's the time gone? But it makes me just feel like we've done something amazing. You've come back to us again. Let's look at building your confidence even more. You must be sad when they have to leave. There have been some very, very, very sad, so some very sad moments, especially, you know, some of them who I've been teaching for the last eight years and they've, you know, reached 12, they're going to secondary school and they're like, mm -hmm, it's time. And I just think, no, it's never time. You're still three. You can never grow up. So these young ones then who are at the top end of the scale, could they come back and do work experience? Like Absolutely. They? I keep saying to them as well, they're like, I'm nearly 12. I need to leave. I'm like, no, no, you don't have to leave. Like, don't worry. And I'm like, don't worry, guys. Come back for work experience. Call me. We've got it. 
so yeah i do i do promote it because a lot of them say i want to work here i want to be like you i want to be a teacher and it's it's very sweet. so you're teaching them all sorts of different skills aren't you and there's that um open to possibilities where they can come in and do that absolutely yeah and there's a huge advantage of going to these kind of places isn't there Men- yeah mentally physically exactly yeah so with everything that we do we've got four main kind of headers we've got physically of course gymnastics we're moving they're rolling they're jumping they're some of them are taking their first steps some of them have crawling for the first time um socially whether it's with us children parents everything and the amount of people that have come along to their first class with a baby at four months old and they're still best friends with someone they've met and it's just amazing to see and it's even when they leave if they go back to work we still hear about it um we look at the cognitive side so memory concentration all those things are included in everything that we do um and then the emotional side as well of course this is all to do with problem solving maybe feeling a little bit unhappy if they can't do something but also then feeling this massive build of success and build of confidence as well so do you have their sort of like a, a more on a program sort of thing yeah, so it's a fully developed program over 45 years of child development experts, gymnastics experts, everyone experts, and it's just been fully developed and it's still being developed now as well. That sounds fantastic. Mm. I've not heard of this before, but I think it's really, really exceptional. Uh, yeah, a lot of people, again, because of where we are, because it's quite close to the end, no one really goes down that direction. They're like, I didn't even know about it. This is amazing. How do we get in? What do we do, etc. So it is it's such a great thing. And to be able to speak about it to more people, hopefully someone will be able to be like, that sounds like something my climbing active child needs. Fantastic. Mm. So uh, remind us where you are. So we're right down the end of Park Street. So if you are in the atrium car park, out past Starbucks, Turn right, walk past H&M, past the next, past the hair salon, right down towards the mini roundabout. And we are the last door on the right-hand side. Go up the lift or up the stairs to level one, and we are right there. And you're good on social media. Yeah, always posting on social media. Again, if anyone messages us on social media, we're very quick to reply. And even if you don't want to look at that or you want to know what a class looks like, there is also a YouTube channel that was built up over lockdown. So you can try a class at home see what you feel like or if you've got a child already coming then they can do a class at home for an extra hour fantastic that's lovely thanks for joining us it's all right thank you